Hi all, I'm Admin Pandya. Once again, welcome to my video. Good to see you all. Today, I've got some consolidated news on Vodafone Idea that I'll try to show you one by one. Uh, so before that, please do not forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed because uh, that's how I will know that you like my channel and uh, then I'll keep doing uh, the works I do. Okay, let's move on. So with the Vodafone Idea, it's been a couple of weeks if you have noted so it's moving in a range round uh, between 4 to 4.30. Uh, sometimes it opens up in 4.30 and then closes in 4.20, 4.15. Um, so it's it's something cooking at the back end, heavy consolidation and good delivery percentage. And then traded quantity is also 15 core. And so so it's all good. And on the option chain, also I don't say anything bad. It's it's okay. So what I what my hunch say is like it could cross rupees five and more. There's something cooking, a new should come up and then it will shoot up. Let's see. Uh, so let's not waste of time. Let's move on what we got. So there's some article saying about insider trading. Uh, insider trading, sorry. So what of an idea? What's it to do? So who are doing the insider trading? So insider trading is something like a, a company internal resources uh, who buy and sell sometime the shares. So what the insider training who have reported to SEBI, um, uh, NSE and BSE that uh, they are the register uh, like they are belonging to a company who are trying to do um, insider training. So as per that count, we could see um, so past past six months the, uh, there's no heavy uh, like movement or anything. But uh, for the when we look at the uh, yearly view, we could see there's some transactions being happen. So let's move and see. If I look at here. So the individual who has bought is like P Balaji, and the company is like a Pilani Investment. It's a, a it's um it's a company by itself. I think like uh, the holding uh, the promoter groups uh, who are buying in little chunks. Uh, um, so on the individual who is that guy, um, he is holding at the price of nine. I think that's how the report says. And then uh, there is no much selling, but there is a uh, buying. For sure and it's on a yearly wise we could see uh, these these are the reports i could show you uh, it's september august uh, that's all 19 uh, 2019 may from may uh, so he has been buying a couple of times in here uh, with a heavy quantity i would say and then uh, at all about balaji balaji is a ex uh, nokia guy uh, he joined um, word of an idea in 2014 so he's still there with the company. He is doing as an external affairs director. He still trusts some. So what I wanted to show is like everyone just trusts the company, assuming it will shoot up, and uh, do not lose hope. That's all I wanted to share in this. And then uh, as we move on, what of an idea? If we see is a foreign direct investment like worth forty seven thousand seven hundred crore. It was done on a, a, which year two thousand sixteen. If I go back here, just to compete with Geo, to take on Geo's uh, effect, uh, it it pushed, uh, it did its cash investment uh, in, uh, in 2016. And uh, this year, we noted that Facebook uh, put some money in uh, Geo, that is 43,000. It's it's a more equivalent, but uh, what if idea has uh, uh, put a lot of money and it's not uh, too long away. It's just on 2016 and we are expecting some more cash. And that's why they are struggling. You should understand it's not uh, a, no company will put on, uh, keep on putting their money. What I uh, assume is like um, some other investors or like um, someone will will help what if an idea. That's what I feel personally. Someone would invest heavily just uh, as I told you in my previous videos, um, uh, the foreign investors, they are having an eye in, in, in the market. Might be someone might invest. Okay, that's my view. And the, then as we move on, um, what if my idea is trying really to compete in the market? Uh, as I clearly see, they they have they are changing their plans, they're changing their strategy. Something is um, they are working out uh, like uh, on regular basis, not like a re uh, releasing a plan and then just leaving it. Now they have uh, increased the, uh, Price, uh, price of uh, like from 249 to 299, and uh, uh, instead of 399, they have given 449 and 599. Instead, uh, they have uh, increased the double data for uh, 699. So, basically, increasing their money increases the profit of the company, something they might have strategically planned for. So, this is good move also from more of an idea. 
Um, okay, let's move on. So that was a task poser. Okay. Um, so who are the task force or what has been doing? So uh, let me let me put a little more words into it. Finance Ministry has appointed at this task force. What is this task force? In times of trouble or uh, finding difficult times and getting a conclusion or solution, normally companies and government sets these kind of task force. So this task force need to find a solution or need to find an uh, issue uh, like what the root cause and a complete analysis and then pinpoint, nail down every uh, pointers. So what the task force have come up and what they have submitted at the table of government. So they have said um, that 5G spectrum prices suggested by DOT is too high. They are not just said it's high, they said it's too high. And then they have said task force also highlighted on the Asia and the burden on telecom companies. So that's also a key point. It's good, they have highlighted. And uh, uh, these all things, uh, uh, one more thing that to be noted is like Etal earlier very clearly said that it will not bid on the 5G because it's a, a, it's, it's, it's a high price. So they are not bidding it. So what if I idea, anyhow, they are also not uh, willing to pay for, uh, pay for this high price. So everything is on the government table. Now they need to decide on this quickly. So very soon we will hear from government as well. So there is another news on Koi. Let me go to that. Okay, in here. Okay. So dot Koi ask a request dot to extend timelines for minimum rollout obligations by six to nine months. So what is that? When an operator like, uh, okay, what is this minimum uh, rollout obligations? Uh, what is it to do? Why uh, COI is asking us to extend that to six to nine months uh, to DOT? Okay, so this is also an important factor. COI is helping a lot. So what is this? Is like when an operator gets a license for a particular frequency band, example like a 1800 megawatts band, then the operator has to comply minimum rollout obligations. So that takes time. In this COVID-19, they obviously need more time. They are considering a few strategies and not only Vodafone idea, we are, con we are seeing for Vodafone idea. Similarly, other uh, Zio or like Atal would be also doing the same. So it's for, Koi is talking for all. Basically, uh, this will also be considered by the government. That's all I had. Um, hope you like it. Thank you and take care. See you in another video. Bye.